welcome back to my channel tech and art hope you guys doing good today i'm going to test about you know uh, does really this you know compressed and uncompressed sql server database backup really impacting the performance of sql server database okay so in details i'm going to check in this lab okay so before starting the session i would request each and everyone who ever newly joined on my channel please like to subscribe and don't forget to share okay if you like the video you can you know appreciate the effort by clicking the join button okay let me connect my ssms so i am going to take the database backup or the compressed and un uncompressed of database tech 02 so let me execute this script first then we'll see okay all together i have executed both compressed and uncompressed if you can see here look at this here the compressed one it took the 0 0.366 second okay if you go and check the uncompressed it is bit faster so personally i believe uh, you know if you have a space crunch definitely you should go with the you know compressed backup but if you don't have a space crunch you can go with the uncompressed backup as well it is bit faster than the compressed backup as you can see the compressed back backup took here 0 0.366 seconds okay so it is bit time consuming rather than the uncompressed backup so whenever you schedule it maintenance tasks for the such a huge big database so be focused on a you know uh, don't go with the production support time you can schedule a backup for a non-business hour okay because definitely such a huge database you need to select the compressed backup because space is the issue okay so go with off business hour okay now whatever the restore okay so if you can see here i have whatever the backup i have taken the compressed uncompressed which is created here in this lo local directory so I'm going to restore one by one and we'll see what is the impact on a restore side. Okay. Uh, if you go and see the restore database tech zero one. So I'm going to choose one by one. Firstly, we will go with the compressed one. Okay. And then we'll see the uncompressed as well. Okay. So let me go with the replace file option overwrite it and close the existing connection otherwise it will get me the error so create the script okay let me create a script for uncompressed as well then we'll execute the together okay so select the uncompressed backup file from here which we have taken just now okay and go with the same approach replace it option go is really faster okay script okay so now i'm going to execute the compressed one okay and we'll see how the restore time is consuming with the compressed backup or non-compressed yes it's completed if you can go and check the down okay so restore database so it took 0 0.180 second okay now let me execute the uncompressed backup set and we'll see what is the difference so this one also done okay so now you can see 0 0.575 second okay and this one 0 0.180 so compressed is a bit faster here and you know and it took 0 0.5 so with my lab actually this database is really not a big size actually and it depends on the network bandwidth also but normally you know uh, the compressed one took the more time uh, while taking the backup and restoring the backup as well so it's up to you I never care actually uh, you know uh, personally for the time because normally we have uh, scheduled a backup on a non-business hour so it doesn't matter because storage is a matter things so storage is a you know costly so you need to think about storage so i normally schedule all the maintenance with the compressed backup as well so it's up to you now you can choose it but uh, you can see only the time is a matter it's not you know much impacting the performance side okay 
just be focused only thing is don't go with the production business our support okay that is the matter things well that's it for today i will you know we will disconnect uh, now and we'll connect again with the new session very soon till then bye bye thank you thank you guys so much